Hey students, we know you might not be able to make it to campus right now, so we're going to do the next best thing. We're going to bring campus to you. Welcome to the College of Mount St. Vincent. As you walk onto campus, the first thing you'll notice is the grotto on the left-hand side. It's surrounded by beautiful foliage and features a walkway to see the water and Catholic shrine up close and personal. After the grotto, you'll find Villa Parking Lot, the college's largest parking facility. There are 1,400 solar panels installed, making it one of the largest known solar arrays in New York City. As you enter the heart of campus, you'll see the Elizabeth Seton Library on your left-hand side. Seton Library provides traditional and innovative resources to the Mount community. From books and ebooks to journals, databases, and videos, the library makes it easy to connect the resources you need. The bottom floor features multiple state-of-the-art computer labs, printers, study spaces, and lounges available for your service all year round. Directly across the street from the library is Hayes Auditorium, an amphitheater that hosts events such as our hooding ceremony, boom dance competition, and preseason address from the athletic director, among other events. Behind Hayes is the Peter J. Sharp Center, home to CMSB Athletics. Here you find our home court for our basketball and volleyball programs, coaches suite and trainers room, as well as the weight room, locker room, and showers, which is made available to the entire student body. As you continue your walk, you'll next see Seton Hall, a building that doubles as a residence hall and offices for administrators. On the first two floors, you'll see staff from our admissions and advancement teams. The top three floors feature suite-style dormitories for upperclassmen. Seton Landing is one of the more underrated features of campus, as you'll see students, faculty, and staff hanging outside the building enjoying the weather and the views. After you exit Seton, the next building you'll see is the Science Hall. This building features four floors of classrooms and is also equipped with independent research laboratories and chemical storage rooms. The building was renovated in 2013 and is considered the home for all classes for biology and chemistry majors and features up-to-date technology for all your needs for your science studies. Alumni Hall, Mastronardi Hall, and Spellman Hall are up next as you continue on your campus journey. Spellman was renovated in 2017 and accommodates well over 300 students. The lobby is home to a dance studio and open gathering space that includes a ping pong table. Just across the street from Spelman is Mastro and Alumni Halls, as well as the Alumni Pavilion. Mastro and Alumni holds over 400 students combined in double rooms, shared bathrooms, shared laundry rooms, and common rooms. The Alumni Pavilion is home to student activities in over 40 student-run clubs and organizations, as well as a common lounge for everyone. And you can't forget about the quad a spot where you'll see students conversing, playing sports, sitting on benches, and enjoying the weather all year round. Directly behind Spelman Hall is where you'll find Hudson Heights, the college's main dining hall. This airy, modern space features a smorgasbord of culinary offerings to Mount students and the Mount community as a whole. A sushi station, Starbucks, salad bar, and pizzeria is just the tip of the iceberg for food and drink offerings in Hudson Heights. There is also an outdoor dining area that can be utilized by all patrons on days with beautiful weather. Dolphin dollars, cash, credit, and debit cards are all accepted for food items. As you walk to the bottom of campus, you'll encounter Marillac Hall, the college's oldest dorm. The stone-covered building is available to approximately 90 upper-class students and has a combination of traditional rooms with shared hallway bathrooms and suites with private bathrooms. Marillac also features common rooms, an outdoor porch, and a chapel. Directly outside of Marillac Hall is where you'll find Marillac Field, a home for men's and women's soccer as well as men's and women's lacrosse. The natural grass surface, which is situated right alongside the Hudson River, was created for the start of the 2014 fall semester and also serves as a place for outdoor activities for summer youth camps. It also has one of the best views of any playing field in the country. Next up is Maryvale, the center for all communication and arts majors. The two-story building is equipped with state-of-the-art digital media labs, visual art studios, a post-production lab, and brand new television and radio studios. Maryvale also has ceramic, sculpture, and printmaking studios that are open to all students, as well as a Mac lab that is also available to the student body. Yes, we have a castle on campus. Originally built for Shakespearean actor Edwin Forrest, it was sold to the Sisters of Charity of New York before they relocated from Central Park. The school has plans to renovate and reopen the castle in the future. Here we have Founders Hall, the hub of our campus. 
The five-story building is home to dozens of classrooms, a secondary cafeteria, meeting rooms, lounges, and the notebook store on top of a multitude of offices and resources for different services. Arguably the best feature of CMSV is the Chapel of the Immaculate Conception, which can be found on the second floor of Founders Hall. Not only is it where the Sisters of Charity, students, faculty, and staff come to pray and reflect, it's also where a number of alumni have held their wedding ceremonies. As you exit the building from the chapel, you'll find the porch, which overlooks the Great Lawn, serving as one of the many fantastic views of campus. We've shown you what's already on campus, now take a look at what's to come. The college is in the process of building a Kino Hall, our sixth dormitory on campus. The five-story, 56,000 square foot building will be situated between Founders Hall and Seton Hall. The top three floors will provide housing for 120 students, while the lower two floors will house technologically advanced nursing simulation laboratories. Our campus and community continues to grow. We can't wait for you all to be a part.